many believe that Nostradamus has predicted the future. He published his predictions in the prophecies, and many believe that many of his predictions have come true. Nostradamus was born in December 1503, and it's reported that during his lifetime he had a psychic awakening. Those who knew him throughout his early life said that he was very intelligent, and that he was able to get through school with ease. It's said that Nostradamus had a gift, and that he was able to look into the future and predict events. He channeled all of his energy into these predictions, which would cover the next 2,000 years. He was careful though and didn't want to be judged by religious groups, so he devised a way that he could write down his predictions in such a way that they would be misinterpreted. He did this by using a variety of different languages, and writing them down in four-line verses. Although he feared being prosecuted, it turns out that he would have a close relationship with the Catholic Church. In recent years, those who have studied his work have said that many of these predictions have come true. Himself, along with his predictions, have gained a sort of cult following, with people saying that we should listen to what he said about the future. Those who followed his work said that Nostradamus predicted that 2021 is going to be worse than 2020. Nostradamus said that 2020 was great trouble for humanity, but even greater trouble will manifest itself in 2021. According to Nostradamus, famine is going to spread throughout the world, and that many parts of the world will suffer. This one can actually be backed up due to the recent events that have happened. Pretty much every part of the world has been affected by the recent events. It's caused food shortages, and economies have crashed. Oxfam said the following on their website. As country after country has required people to stay at home, and economies grind to a halt, the spectre of hunger is emerging. The movement of food from farms to markets and people's homes is being disrupted and the poorest and most vulnerable are at risk. The economy crisis and disruption of food supply could push an additional half a billion people into poverty." End quote. Although some have said this is just a lucky guess, others have noted that it's strange that the two events have happened at the same time. The next prediction by Nostradamus was the following. In the sky, one sees fire and a long trail of sparks. NASA is constantly scanning our sky for asteroids, and even though they've done an incredible job at cataloging many of these, some still slip through the net. They even ran a simulation recently and said that we're not ready if an asteroid approached. One of the ways that we could stop it is if we created a large missile to destroy the asteroid. However, the chances of this succeeding may be rather slim, and it would be years before we could tell whether or not this strategy was successful. Therefore, it's likely that alternative survival strategies would be formulated in the event of missiles failing to intercept the asteroid. In fact, the study revealed to the space agency that even the most powerful missiles wouldn't be able to stop a large enough asteroid colliding with Earth. Detecting a celestial body early on is essential to understanding what its behavior is like. Researchers noted that back in 2018, we saw more than 91 near-miss hits of different asteroids of all sizes. The worrying thing is out of these 91 asteroids that passed by us, only 30 of these asteroids were seen coming prior to their passing, and only two of those were discovered one year ahead of the near-miss event. This means that for more than 89 of the asteroids nearly striking the Earth in 2018, only two of them could have been prevented with our current technology. The next prediction by Nostradamus was the following. The Sloping Park Great Calamity. Through the lands of the Western Lombardy. The fire in the ship plague and captivity. Mercury in Sagittarius. Saturn fading. Some have theorized that a huge earthquake is going to tear through California, and that this will happen when Mars and Saturn match those positions detailed by Nostradamus, which will be in November of 2021. 
Just recently, a six magnitude earthquake hit California. This news was worrying as the director of the Southern California Earthquake Center, a man by the name of Thomas Jordan, revealed that the San Andreas Fault appears to be in bad condition, even describing it as being in a critical state. They then detailed that this condition could cause a large earthquake to happen in the near future. This report was created because researchers said that data has shown them there hasn't been any major stress release in the area. In fact, none have happened since the 1850s, with both teams saying that a large enough event could happen anytime soon. And this is because the Pacific tectonic plates are moving faster than the North American plates. Nostradamus' last prediction is said to be a zombie apocalypse, with the prediction reading as follows. Few young people, half dead to give a start, dead through spine, he will cause the others to shine, and in an exalted place some great evils to occur. Sad concepts will come to harm each one. Temporal dignified, the mass to succeed. Fathers and mothers dead to infinite sorrows. Women in mooring, the pestilent she-monster, the great one to be no more, or the well to end. Users think that Nostradamus is detailing a zombie apocalypse, and that this could happen sometime towards the end of the year. Although this may sound outlandish, there are several worldwide examples that can produce zombie-like symptoms, some of which affect humans. So if this prediction is anything to go by, the world may come to an end. So what do you make of these predictions? And do you think any of them will come true? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.